What's going on, guys? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, talk about the elephant in the room. I don't have my hat on. No, I just didn't feel like wearing it. Um, been rather hot lately. I just kind of said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to kind of keep my hair down. It's a lot easier to maintain. Um, I don't have to hide everything. I'm not trying to hide stuff. It was just a lot easier to keep my hair up in the middle of videos. But basically, this is not the point of the video. I'm not here to uh, say, yes, Kind of like face reveal, this is not a hair reveal. Uh, the whole point of what I'm trying to get down to is, I've spoken on it before, is fake preachers. People that sell God. And I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous video, but if I did, I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat it. Or if I haven't, here you go. There was a gentleman that I worked with. Now he was a fake preacher, and I hate people like that. Uh, people that sell God to people, a bunch of uh, uninformed, basically... Cult-like morons that just listen to whatever is told to them, and they follow in like sheep to the slaughter. Now, I know it sounds like I'm being super dramatic, but here's the problem. These absolute douchebags that like to, you know, mimic that of preachers to make big money. And that's exactly what they do, and they own none of it. It's actually the churches that technically own it. There's a bunch of tax reasons. It's a bunch of bullshit, but basically, I'm going to tell you this. I found another guy. I had to find his name. I didn't know his name. He wasn't, uh, he didn't have Copeland status to me. But he has been quoted many times. His name's Jesse Duplantis, and I had to find his channel. Now, his channel has been around for a while, about 2011, and it seems like he's, like, super douchey. Uh, he's got 249,000 subscribers, so he still got me uh, beat, so I guess God's definitely got his back. But the funny thing is, for 2,000 videos, he doesn't get a lot of views. So some of his views for 13 years ago is only 15,000. Some of his most popular views, 1.6 million, which is all in Spanish. Some of his videos in Spanish seem to be, uh, you know, getting some good views. Now, I would also like to go ahead and state, uh, you know, YouTube updated their page, so it's a little hard to go through. Here's the biggest problem. You'll see over here, and I'm going to go ahead and address this. I had it in one of my comments in my last video. Basically, what somebody did, they said they were going to pray for me and that my soul was lost or some shit. I can't really remember. It was some goofy stuff. But it was stating that uh, I was a lost person that would pray for me, this and that. So they're thinking, I'm talking about an asshole, somebody that's not a good person, they're fake, and you want to pray for me? Uh, no, these people right here are the biggest problem. They sell God. Now, I've said that, and I'll say it a million times. They are selling God. They're selling you a word for what they keep saying is the tith or the tithe, whatever you want to say. I've heard it a million ways. But basically, I don't understand how these people can get away with it. And the sad part is, I don't really believe in taxing churches. And I, I don't. And I'm not saying that the people that want to don't have an argument with these guys, but it's sad that you will see the 13, 14, maybe even 1,000 comments that they have. Um, they constantly talk about how this, that, and amen. That they found ways and greatness through these. Now, his YouTube channel, as of recently, is a little bit more YouTube-y, so he's definitely selling it a lot better. But he uploaded a lot of older videos from uh, way back in the day, and it's just kind of weird. And you could tell they're dated. But I find it completely hilarious, and actually I'm looking at it while I'm talking. It's a little a little odd. I could probably pull it up for you. Now, if I haven't mentioned, yes, I do have a you know an, an older channel that I just can't monetize and that I use to still kind of look at videos when I'm keeping a lot of this, but uh get this down. Basically, here's my problem. So here's my problem. This is the older videos. You'll see 20, 30,000, stuff like that. Or 20,000, 15,000, 26,000. This guy right here, something that I uh, actually was taking a screenshot of, but I won't be doing that. Um, look at all these suits. It's another thing I always notice. They always have a new suit for every week, and these suits are not cheap. They never are. And they're extremely overpriced. I get that there's, a, you know, people are rich, they're going to spend their money, but there's another video that kind of pissed me off, and I'll go ahead and show you that before I go any further. So, I want to address something in the middle of doing this editing. I had to stop my video to let you know. Um, this is future me. I did not know that apparently other bigger YouTubers were talking about these people again. Um, they didn't necessarily, you know, talk about him directly, but I'm trying to let you know now. This is entirely coincidence. I was already going to do another video about another rich pastor and uh this was an accident totally completely irrelevant the only reason why i knew this in the middle of uh recording some of the video footage i needed for this clip well that's when i noticed that uh, apparently some ordinary gamer was doing one on somebody and apparently charlie from what's critical uh penguin zeo if you don't know uh yeah they were all doing videos too i don't want to say i'm gonna get all kind of crazy let people fight me. you'll have jewelry cost more in your house Where? I'm telling you, listen to me. 
I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. My first house cost fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars. I'm giving you a chance to write your check out. Fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars. My second house cost eighty-one thousand nine hundred dollars, and this watch cost more than that. <laughs> Are you gonna write me another letter? Let me tell you what. No, no. <laughs> I can really give you. I, I don't mean that pridefully. Now, if that don't bother you, this man loves to parade around about how much money he makes, how much money he has. His first house was eighty-one thousand dollars. Now, that was back in the day, or whatever he said. Now, back in the day, this dude's like 60, probably almost 70. And you're talking about $80,000 back then. That would be in like the 80s. And he brags about it. And these people praise him. I don't understand it. Give me an understanding. Okay, these comments have been turned off. I wonder why. Probably because of what he's talking about. Learn the truth about honest... Well, you can't even see it. Sorry about that. Learn the truth about honest labor and see how Jesus wants to co-labor with you to bring you your freedom, joy, protection, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm not, I've tried to state this, I'm not an atheist, I am not, uh, you know, anti-religion, I, I don't, I'm not against Christianity, I'm against these assholes. Now, the reason why I'm getting a little bit more in depth with this is because I just find it more hilarious that these people, honestly, the comments, the comments is what makes it hilarious. Um, this one has comments, but these are absolutely bonkers. I cannot believe this. And these people believe them. It's sad. These are just absolutely insane people who don't make any sense. I don't get the point of following people like this. I said it again. The other guy is just more super deranged. This guy brags a lot. He reminds me more of that uh, show, um, The Righteous Gemstones. That's that's it. That, that's what this guy reminds me of a whole lot more. And I hate it. I mean, he's an absolute, uh, you know, bragging all the time about his jets. And there was another thing. I had to write this down. Basically, uh, they said his private jet is $14,000 round trip per trip that he takes from, like, Texas to, uh, Louisiana all the time. Yeah, that's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.